The Retirement Plan. This is available on Hulu, but without audio description, because Hulu be Hulu. And uh, they're not going to seek out the audio description track for this. So it's a 2023 film starring Nicolas Cage. And it's, yeah, it's one of those films that he just says yes to, because money. Uh, but it's actually slightly better. He did one earlier this year called The Old Way. I believe that's what it was called. I don't know. I've kind of... It's funny, I reviewed it and I already like, deleted it from my, from my memory. Where he, it was in the Wild West and it wasn't... It was not great. Um, this is slightly better. It's hard to tell because it's... I don't have audio description and he's... A man with a very particular set of skills... <laughs> skills that he's acquired over a long period of time. Uh, and um, it's it's a very weird film. It's got kind of like a comedic, but I don't know if it's like intentional or not, or if it's just that the film has no idea what it's doing. So um, it's really hard to tell. Film opens up and there's a guy who's really nervous because the people that he works for, he's betrayed or I don't know, he hasn't lived up to their expectations, and he's running with his girlfriend and daughter, wife and daughter, whatever. And, uh, turns out the, the daughter, the wife, is, uh, the, the, all the, sorry, the girlfriend slash wife is the daughter of Nicolas Cage. And, uh, Nicolas Cage is living on a beach. Drinking his life away. Turns out he has a particular set of skills. At the beginning, though, it's a very goofy performance from Cage when he first sort of, like, opens up on us because he's playing, you know, like, drunk, but he doesn't want to, like, leave Las Vegas it. So he's like, hey, what's that? <laughs> it's good. I'm like, what is this film? What am I watching? <laughs> um, and uh, at first he meets his granddaughter is sent to him to I guess for safety for maximum safety and the film goes forward as he realizes he also has to rescue his daughter and then obviously nefarious people get in the way and he has to keep his daughter and his granddaughter safe and from a bunch of people just like a bunch of people and um maybe the government's interested maybe they're not uh I don't know I don't know what to tell you first of all it doesn't have audio description so that's about as far as I can follow it not that it's necessarily intelligent, but let me just say that there are people in this film that I that didn't make it to the end of the film, and I didn't actually know when they died. Like, I could track their voice. Like, they're well-known actors. And I was like, did they die? Did they... When? Or was that... Are we done with them? Did, where, where'd they go? So, um... Yeah, so this film has... <laughs> Uh, I don't blame Cage. The last film, there really wasn't anybody in it for him to sign on to. He should have looked at the cast and been like, what am I doing here? This film does have, uh, like, <laughs> Joel David Moore, um, Ernie Hudson, Ron Perlman, Academy Award nominee Jackie Earl Haley, uh, and some other people. So, I mean, there are a couple names that I recognized throughout the cast. So I was like, oh, all right. This one has a not a cast that I would be excited about if I was an actor who is as big as Nicolas Cage and was looking at projects and they're like, guess what? I'm your agent and I got you a project. And I'm like, oh my God, what is it? Is it, an, is it another is it another great unbearable weight of massive talent? No, even better. Guess who you're starring with? Who? Ernie Hudson. I'd be like, God. <laughs> I just, I'd be like, no. <laughs> you, come on now. Um, but uh, I don't know that his supporting cast in Dream Scenario is necessarily any better than he's getting great reviews for that. Uh, his supporting cast in Pig is not necessarily that deep, and he was getting great reviews for that. So maybe he just figures, if I'm good enough, the film will be fine. Uh, it doesn't matter who my supporting cast is, so he thought... I'll just go in there and be great. And uh, he's entertaining. I'm not going to say he's not. Uh, but like I said, there are like shootouts and kill sequences and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know who he just killed. 
or how, um, which kind of makes the movie unwatchable, which is where I'm going to go with this, in case you didn't know. As a blind film critic, I frequently have to point out, I spent my entire life pointing out to people why we need the accessibility that we need, because they don't provide us with the accessibility on titles. So, it's my life now. Um, I, it, it's, I don't know that I would necessarily be jumping up and down anyway. This particular set of skills genre <laughs> that Liam Neeson launched upon the world um it really just needs it needs new inventions i think sisu was a great addition to it sisu really did have an interesting way of telling its story um retirement plan just feels like it's just a little bit more taken and the fact that he has to go rescue his daughter just goes and highlights just how much that's true in the retirement plan he, i mean in sisu he just he, he Nazis messed with him, so he killed the Nazis. It was pretty simple. <laughs> um, here, it, it feels a lot like Taken, but slightly comedic. Um, anyway, uh, that's that's about it. That's really all I can say, because I can't really comment on anything else. I can sort of comment on the performances. I, the little girl's great, actually. I don't know. It's hard to tell how... Uh, old she actually is I have a feeling the reason why she's great is because she is older than she is I think she mentioned her age at one point as someone I was like no you're not <laughs> I was just like no you're not <laughs> no you're not no you're not. I think she's 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 a couple years older than the age that she's supposed to be playing um I'd be shocked if she was the actual age or even one year older you know even like within the proximity I think she's easily three to four years older, which can make a, a world of difference in, in child acting. So, um, yeah, but she's good. I, I like her line delivery is good. She's believable in the role. I didn't hate her. I, uh, you know, I hate to come in here and brag on child actors and actresses anyway. I was one of the people who immediately backlashed against the Razzies for nominating a child actor for a Razzie. I was like, that's a bit much guys. Um, I mean, I, I totally think Razzies are fun, but child actors should be off limits. Um, and, uh, yeah, I like her. So, uh, that's, that's a takeaway, but, uh, I, I really can't do much for this film. So I'm going to give it unwatchable. Sorry. It's an action film where I can't tell who's being shot from where, uh, somebody's creeping around. Uh, I don't know who just got shot or who got killed and, characters disappeared and I guess they got shot I don't know there's not a whole lot of like oh my god not David you know <laughs> not that stuff so um I don't know it's 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 not it's definitely not made for people uh to watch it without audio description so it's uh it's a bit of a bit of a mess otherwise but anyway thanks for watching please click that subscribe button I am trying to <sighs> trying to break 200 subscribers uh it's possible that i'm so close that it's possible that by the time you see this review i will but still click that subscribe button because i'm gonna have a year and goal for next year and you'll help me build towards that near year and goal for 2024 um and i have a website macmovieguy.com uh you can follow me at mac the movie guy on x threads or instagram you can go to the audio description project adp.acb.org It'll let you know what has audio description and where you can watch it. And you can go to the adna.org. That's the adna.org. It'll let you know who's narrating your favorite films and television series. That's it for me today. I will review something else and see you guys on the other side.